Well, today I was uh, at lunch with a really good friend of mine that's doing the bees with me, and uh, he brought me three new full uh, 10 frame hives. Uh, they need a little bit of TLC, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you those right now. Basically got uh, three of them stacked here. Uh, it was raining, so I've got them out. I cleaned them um, outside, obviously, and then brought them into the shop here. And uh, so really just need to, I'm just letting them dry, make sure everything's dried out on them, but they should be great hives. I've got uh, three packages of bees coming in April. So I'm gonna get this ready over the next little while. I'll paint, refinish, and uh, gonna rework these boxes. Now from those hives, uh, I also have a freezer full of frames now that are, uh, that are just, there was a wax moth problem within some of those different hives, but you can see I have got uh, sugar bricks on some of this, but there's at least 35 frames in here. I already sanded small. down some of the edges that <clears throat> had some flaking paint, so I hit it with some real uh, uh, kind of medium sandpaper. And now I'm just going to hit the hit these surfaces all the way around. Try to get it coated one time all the way around. <clears throat> there are some parts of these three different hives that I am not going to paint. They um, they look like they had wax coatings and they're kind of stained finish. So I have ordered some extra wax. I don't think I have enough wax to melt down and recoat those. But I need the wax, the extra wax anyway to. Uh, Gonna coat the inside of some of these boxes and continue to just lay it on pretty heavy, uh, even on this first coat. <clears throat> There's no point in not giving it a really good coat of paint, exterior paint. You know, I'm not going out and buying paint. This is paint that I have that actually matches the exterior of my house. Not that you have to do that, but uh, didn't cost me anything. Had extra paint. Got a box and the inner lid already painted. This is an example of one of the uh, medium supers. Uh, I am not going to paint this. I'm going to wait till we get some wax to come in, comes in. This is a great looking, it's in great shape. It just hasn't been coated in a long time. Mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll you can see this thing has been used. Got tons of years of uh, just propolis and everything else that the bees have applied to it. It's still in good shape on the outside. I just want to paint the edge of it and keep all of this. I mean, it's really hard to get bees to accept sometimes new wood, so uh, I don't want to do away with that at all. I might touch just on the inside, but not anywhere near this, uh, everything that's already been coated with wax and, and whatnot. It's really good. We've got a couple more of these boxes to do. And uh, we will have every single one of them painted that were already painted. So, you know, this, this really hasn't taken maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. But by the time I get them done, less than an hour of just prepping uh, and, uh, and really redoing a few boxes. And look, if it gets me several years of use out of these, then great. Uh, hopefully it'll get me a little bit more, but uh, pretty easy to do. This side will, will be finished with all of the uh, painting of the boxes. <clears throat> we'll let these things set up overnight and then just uh, reassemble them tomorrow. I'll get the wax in and uh, really what I want to do, I'm going to wax the outside of the box. But I'm really just as excited to make sure I get the inside of the boxes waxed. Uh, you know, that'll give them extra wax to use. Tightens up any of the seals or uh, three big hives I got yesterday. I am going to wax coat those other boxes when they come in, but you could make quick work of uh, just redoing boxes if you just uh, just with a little bit of elbow grease. All right, see you next time. If you like, subscribe.